So, you like wearing hats, but you don't want to mess your hair up. Man, your hair is really nice. I understand what you're saying. It's just so luscious. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai once again. Welcome on back to Blender. This intro was kind of weird, I won't lie to you. We're back once again with another tutorial on how to snap. I've done a snap tutorial in the past, um, and I want to keep it super basic. I actually just recorded this tutorial just like five minutes ago, but I want to keep it super basic and uh, and make sure that you guys just really understand. Like I said, we've done one before in the past, 2.8 I believe it was, but I'm going to go ahead and just simplify this thing down. Super, super easy. So maybe you want to snap something in Blender. Let's go ahead and take a look at this cube here, default cube, getting some play once again. Look at this, man. All right, uh, we can go ahead and hit G, as you very well may or may not know, to move objects around inside of the 3D viewport. Double tap R to rotate, hit G to move it around. You got all this movement. Control Z to undo that, by the way. Um, if you go up to the top of the workspace, you can see this little, this little magnet, and this means snap. So if I click that, now when we hit G, you can see that it'll snap to all of the different little, uh, all the, the different places where these little lines cross over each other. Um, so the center, the origin, will snap to all of these different areas when I hit G. So you can see, easy, super easy way to snap to things. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. That is it. No, I'm joking. Um, we're going to hit 7 on our numpad. If we hit 7 on the numpad, numpad, you can see that this will go ahead and create a bunch of more squares that were not there currently. So if I, if I hit my middle mouse button the uh the scroll wheel if i click the scroll wheel um you can see when i go out of this you see that instantly all those little pieces go away there's added so many uh, extra squares when i hit seven or one or three on my numpad or any other number for that matter that is uh in in like from the the very side the very top of the or the side of the cube so um you can see it's added all these little places now when i hit g now you can see that it snaps to all of these which is a much smaller area to snap to so it's super easy to go ahead and just get some really 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 small snaps in and now maybe you want to snap the scale as well so if it s if i hit s to scale this cube you can see it'll just freehand kind of scale maybe i want to snap this to these little edges here so let's go ahead and hit this little drop down up here and make sure it's uh, effect rotate and scale is on if you want to rotate it on magnet as well uh snap tool but if you want to rotate it with this if you want to snap it with the scale Click scale, and now when we hit S, you can see that it will snap to all of the different little pieces, which is very cool stuff. So that is how you do that, ladies and gentlemen. This is really good for like if something when you're doing with voxels, like if you're making a Minecraft style um, render. So if we hit Shift D, we can duplicate this over. You can see how now this is literally snapping to all the different pieces. And now we have all of these cubes that are obviously very individual. You can pull one out. You know, you can push it down. You can do all these things super low poly super minecraft looking style very very cool stuff shift d to duplicate these objects by the way shift d once again make cubert it looks like cubert as well that's very cool look at that I just made a cubert right there look at that crazy look at that no way in like five seconds um but yeah so that's how you snap and you can also do rotation like i said so make sure rotation is checked and this and this will snap to all the different rotations like this as you can see boom 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 so it snaps all those very cool stuff Super simple. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed something new. Not super basic. You don't have to worry about vertex or edge or all these things. These obviously do all these different uh, edges. So if you turn on edge mode, obviously it'll it'll snap to the edges of another object. But it has to be to another object. It won't snap just to the edge of empty space. It has to be to another object. Very cool stuff. Super easy. Obviously, vertex snaps to all the different vertexes. So that, 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 you know, all these different edges. Um, but your cursor is the thing that has to snap to it. So a lot of people try to snap the edges, like the edges, like this edge of this cube to the edge. That doesn't work. You have to make sure your cursor is on the edge of the new object you're trying to snap it to, or else it will not work. I know somebody personally that had an issue with that a little bit ago, and it's a very, very big thing to try and, um, to try and remember when you're doing things. You cannot snap the actual edge of the corners together like this. You know, that does not work. You got to make sure your cursor is touching it or else it won't snap. That's a big, big thing. I'm glad I remembered to say that right at the end. So, like I said, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then... <laughs>